Continue. Hey, let's blur it. So annoying. The Empire won't push into our territory again anytime soon. Thanks to our new pilot. Yeah, and thanks to the rest of us. This isn't a race, all right? We're a team. You're right, Gunny. But still, nice flying out there. <sighs> Speaking of fancy flying, I was thinking about the Dragon Void run from a few years back. Do you see that one, Kia? Oh, sure. I caught the whole thing on the holonet. Yeah, me too. I watched the entire thing, but for the life of me, I can't recall who won. <laughs> I think it was one of the Ash Twins. No, wait, Delon Vuk. Yeah, that's it. Boy, he was something else back then. In fact, the only pilot I've seen that comes close since is Keo here. Oh, come on. Delon Vuk's got nine championships under his belt. I've only got five. Well, fun as this is, Commander Javes has someone special waiting for us in the briefing room. Let's get in there and find out what's next. Oh, hello. Space droid. So where is it now? Galvin. I helped Talus group chase it away from a medical convoy towards Yavin. It's been in the upper atmosphere with no hyperdrive, but too many fighters for Talus group to have below. It's my workout for both of us. You're a visitor. Wedge Antilles, Rogue Squadron. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a car through. I have a Star Destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. We need a Star Destroyer for Project Starhawk. Intact. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, if you would. As you may have heard, Talos Group has cornered the Imperial Star Destroyer Victorum, above the planet Yavin. They're in tough, but it's presented a great opportunity for us to jump in and not only disable that Star Destroyer, but to seize control. So first, we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets. Naturally, we can also take out the targeting system. That'll buy us even more time. Next, we need to prepare the Star Destroyer for boarding. We'll need to find a potential breach point in the Victorum's hull, preferably near the bridge. Once you find a good spot, Bombarded until the hull is breached. However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. While our troops capture the bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we'll rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. Sorry for the speedy introduction. The Talos group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. The commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this. But General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling, well, that's classified too. <laughs> General Sedula keeps us busy. That's Hera. <laughs> the commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too. The Sky Strike. Remember that episode of Rebels? Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. If you haven't seen an episode of, um, of Star Wars Rebels, I forgot what episode it was, but it was somewhere in season three. Sabine Wren went to, um, Sky Strike to, uh, to, um, infiltrate the academy and get, um, and get the, um, and get the, and get the, uh, and get the cadets out. And it was Wedge and Tilly's hobby and someone else, I don't remember who the other person was. Two of his friends wanted to get out as well, but... Any escape, um, Governor Price, um, separated the wings 
from the TIE Fighters and destroyed one of the pods. And Sabine, Hobby, and Wedge were captured. And Ezra Bridger was forced to retreat because the Sierra 90 he was commanding was badly damaged. And then they later got out by stealing a TIE Bomber and um, they got to Ezra and managed to jump out of the system. The Star Destroyer. Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Linda? Vanguard can handle it. So the action soon as possible. Five minutes, thirty Besides, seconds. Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for. Well, you know. Wedge made a name for himself at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, he'd be smart to listen. You know. A wounded Krakana can still fight. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. Now let's go. Which race? So, we're headed to Yavin. An exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of Durasteel plating, turrets, shields. <laughs> My poor bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong, but they can be beaten. If you're good, and lucky. Let's stay optimistic. To Yavin, then. Let's not delay. And Grace, get in this damn fighter and get out of here. Get going! I like doing this. Oh, wait, hang on. Forgot. The commander wants you on an X Wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. Yeah, how's it going? I don't want this to be too long. How's it going? I love this setup. Set us down already. Interceptor. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Dead. Come no, on, that's God. not even fair. I can't. 
can't move fast enough. Really? Bruh. Really? Don't kill this guy, he's annoying me. That 10%! Hit, what the hell? Interceptor. There's three interceptors over here, seriously? Again, I hate this move. Get over here! Oh my god. These guys are so annoying. I'm not saying things. Can you stop? Can you stop? Oh my god. Can you? Stop! The course is behind me. Cannon, bitch. Stop it. Damn interceptor. Come on! Oh my god, it's so annoying. Good looking at 
Oh my god. I just got cooked by the engine. On it. Hit him. Damn it. Take the goddamn missile, bitch. Stop. That's what I feel like it. Lost my shields. Who's the Can these guys stop doing it? It's so annoying. Stop it! I hate that. That move is so annoying. I can't even hit this guy! Stop being shot, please. Morning, team. We have you on our sights. Ready to take on a star destroyer? Got me, Captain Antilles. Just get us there and we'll do the rest. You heard it, back on. Guide those shield wings into position. Stay sharp. What about the star destroyer's crew? If a boarding party takes the bridge, they'll slice internal security systems. The crew will be a problem with no computer access and all the glass doors locked. The fucking quasar! Oh, hot, 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 hot! Get yeah, cooked again. Oh 
Oh my god, he keeps launching fighters. Oh god. Why? Dude. Dude, 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 oh my god. This, why can't he hit this guy? He's just hacking. You stop. You stop. Fuck you. Oh my god, they split in half. God damn it. Tons of high fires over here. Stop it. feeling about this. See, I was like, yeah, I... why is this only on Blu-ray? Uh, I still have the Bronzeum one. I don't want the Bronzeum, I want the Chromium. <laughs> 